Hey everybody, it's David Dugdale, learningvideo.com. I'm comparing mirrorless cameras today, the Sony a7R 3 Canon R, and the Panasonic GH5. I tested these three cameras over an eight week swim season. Four weeks were the Canon R, four weeks with the GH5, and eight weeks with the Sony since I owned it, and we had two shooters. We shot over 2,700 clips between the three cameras. All three cameras used auto ISO, auto white balance, auto focus. We used their standard profile, they're all shot at 1080 or 4K for the GH5 and 60 frames per second. We had to shoot fast and there was a fast turnaround. So I'm gonna share a few things that I noticed. Not really shooting a feature film here. Um, if you think shooting full manual all the time is the only way to go, you might as well just stop watching now. The first thing I noticed is that the Canon R always made the water a little bit too bright. Uh, you'll notice that the white lane lines are on 100 IRE for both of these. So they're exposed pretty much the same in terms of the highlights, but yet the water itself didn't look natural. It looked a bit too bright. And it didn't matter what angle to the water you were at when you were shooting. Now I just want to say I've owned and I've paid for each one of these brands. I've owned a GH4. I've owned multiple Canon cameras. I've owned lots of different Sonys. Is it possible I could be a little biased now that I own Sony? Yeah, it's possible, but I think I'm being pretty fair here. Now, even though I have 200,000 subscribers on YouTube, most of my recent videos only get about 3,000 views, so I really don't consider myself any sort of influencer. So if you're worried about me trying to influence others, don't be. No need to hit me up with a ton of negative comments below. All right, moving on to white balance. As you can see here, the Canon R does a great job. In fact, this is a really difficult situation where you got natural light coming out on one side of the pool and you got artificial lights on the, to the left of the pool. And as you can see, the Canon is doing a fantastic job. The Sony, on the other hand, uh, it's pretty close. It's not too bad, but as you can see, it's a little bit too warm. And I don't know how well you can see it from those white lane lines, but it's a, just a hint of green going on there as well. Um, it was actually pretty easy to correct with and resolve and only take a few seconds. Now, I'm not sure exactly what's happening here with direct sun. My guess it's a white balance issue. Um, the Canon R just doesn't look right in terms of skin. It looks too warm. Um, I'd say disregard the shirts and the swimsuits. They're reflecting back a lot of orange. All the three cameras had the same issue. Um, but when I pointed into the shade, the um, Canon R seemed to work a lot better uh, versus the direct sunlight. And again, I, I shot over four weeks with the Canon R and many hundreds of clips, uh, if not into the thousands. So this is a repeating problem that I saw. Now I just want to show this to you. This is the Canon R. You can see the white balance is off. Uh, I'm showing this to you in kind of slow motion, but what happens over time, usually within, I would say 10 to 15 seconds. Um, I know the Sony will take up to about 30 seconds to go from one color temperature extreme to the other but it does sometimes take a while. But in this instance, um, the camera was running for quite a while and still yet the auto white balance um, didn't really do its job very well. And as you can see here, it's kind of the same thing. And I, again, disregard the orange fluorescent type shirts and the swimsuits because those are kind of a different problem altogether. The GH5 um, actually worked quite well. Um, it was slightly cool and slightly green, but really easy to correct especially when you compared it to the Canon. Now, after grading, I'd say over 600 shots of the 2,700 that we shot, and I watched all of them, the Sony required the least amount of work, and definitely by far, the Canon required the most amount of work. And the Canon R just didn't feel right. As you can see here, you know, it's just a certain feeling you get when you look at the colors. It just didn't feel right, it felt too warm. And I don't remember ever having this issue with my Canon T2i, T3i, or 5D Mark II, or 5D Mark III. Um, they all seem to work fine. In fact, here's a clip from six years ago, my 5D Mark III. Um, no white balance issues here at all. It worked fantastic, and the white balance um, did a great job. You might be saying, why are you using auto white balance? Why don't you just dial it into taste? Well, in a, in a situation where you're shooting in sun, one second and they're shooting in shade or the clouds come in, there's just no way I can do that. Um, and it just, the, the Sony always came out looking much better in terms of its auto white balance. 
Sony really surprised me. The skin tones weren't that bad. And I know I've been giving Sony a hard time a lot over the years of having really bad skin tones. Um, but when I compared it to the Canon R, yeah, Sony looked actually pretty good. So just to recap, I'm using auto ISO, auto white balance, auto off focus, 1080, 60 frames per second, standard profile with the contrast turned all the way down on the Canon. And this was all created in Resolve 16. So I'm using all three of these cameras and very much of an auto situation. I'm not manually doing anything. Again, this is very run and gun type of work that I'm doing. I'm not sure exactly what happened with the Canon. Maybe I got a bad copy. Maybe it's an auto white balance issue. And I know some of you are gonna say, well, you should have just put it to 5600 and left it there. Yeah, I could have definitely done that. But I like, I just wanna repeat again, you know, when you got clouds coming in and out, you got shade on one clip and then you move the camera 15 degrees and your direct sunlight, it's really hard to shoot run and gun and use, not use auto white balance. So this is very different for me, shooting over an eight week period, um, not really caring about trying to do those head to head competitions in a controlled environment. Um, and just looking at it cumulative over uh, the editing process and being able to find, you know, it was like, oh, that one was definitely shot by the Canon. You look at the metadata, I was like, oh yeah, I was right. Cause it was so warm or the skin tones were so hard to fix and post. So again, my videos don't get watched 200,000 times, even though I have 200,000 subscribers. So no need telling me that I'm an idiot and I did this all wrong. Um, my videos only usually get watched about 3,000 times uh, now. So you don't have to waste your breath writing that I'm an idiot down in the comments below. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.